Marcello Mastroianni, a luminary in the world of cinema, has left an indelible mark on film history. Whether it was the first time you recognized his distinctive presence on screen or reflecting on the pivotal works that defined his career, Mastroianni's impact is undeniable. Amidst the plethora of legendary performances, one wonders which role truly encapsulates the essence of his cinematic journey. Setting the stage, before delving into personal reflections, let's explore some intriguing facts about Marcello Mastroianni. From his breakthrough in Federico Fellini's La Dolce Vita to collaborations with renowned directors such as Michelangelo Antonioni and Vittorio De Sica, Mastroianni navigated the cinematic landscape with versatility and finesse. A captivating performer, he seamlessly transitioned between drama and comedy, earning critical acclaim and international recognition. Inviting personal narratives, now we turn the spotlight to you. What was the moment that sparked your recognition of Marcello Mastroianni's brilliance? Was it a particular scene, a film, or a distinctive aspect of his acting prowess? Additionally, out of his prolific filmography, which work do you believe defines his career? As we embark on this exploration of Mastroianni's legacy, we invite you to share your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor. Your stories enrich the tapestry of his cinematic journey. Feel free to leave your reflections in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Marcello Mastroianni together. Marcello Mastroianni, the acclaimed Italian actor, has left an enduring mark on the film industry. Notably, since 1998, the Venice Film Festival has honored emerging talent with the Marcello Mastroianni Award. This accolade recognizes the best first-time young actor or actress, underscoring Mastroianni's influence on shaping cinematic careers. In his personal life, Mastroianni's relationship with Flora Carabella underwent an informal separation in 1964, later formalized in 1970 without culminating in a divorce. This aspect of his life adds a layer of complexity to the man behind the iconic performances. Moreover, on August 30, 2018, TCM Summer Under the Stars dedicated a day to honor Mastroianni's cinematic contributions, showcasing the enduring impact of his work. These facets of Mastroianni's life, both professional and personal, offer a glimpse into the complexities of the man who graced the silver screen. His legacy persists not only in the characters he portrayed, but also in the recognition bestowed upon emerging talents in the world of cinema. Marcello Mastroianni, renowned for his captivating performances, once shared a candid insight into his casting in Federico Fellini's iconic film La Dolce Vita. In interviews, he revealed that Fellini chose him for the lead role because he possessed a terribly ordinary face. This seemingly unremarkable quality became a unique asset, setting the stage for Mastroianni's remarkable career. Beyond the screen, Mastroianni's connection to the Trevi Fountain in Rome immortalized in La Dolce Vita, took on a poignant significance upon his death in 1996. The fountain, linked to his cinematic legacy, was symbolically turned off and draped in black as a tribute to the actor, emphasizing the profound impact of his portrayal. A notable aspect of Mastroianni's filmography is his collaboration with Catherine Deneuve, with whom he shared the screen in five distinct movies. From It Only Happens to Others to One Hundred and One Nights, their on-screen chemistry contributed to the enduring charm of these cinematic pieces. These facets of Mastroianni's career provide a captivating glimpse into the man behind the character's a testament to his versatility and enduring influence on the world of cinema. Each revelation adds a layer to the legacy of an actor whose contributions are celebrated not just in awards and tributes, but in the timeless connection forged with fellow actors and iconic film locations. Grandfather to Milo Thoratin and Anna Biolay, Marcello Mastroianni's familial connections extended beyond the screen. His legacy, however, is not confined to family ties. Mastroianni, known for his acclaimed roles, experienced a unique tribute after his passing in 1996. Two funeral services were held, the first in Paris at the Church of St. Sulpice on deck, 20, followed by a second service at the Verano Cemetery in Rome on deck, 22. This dual farewell underscored the widespread impact of his contributions to cinema. In the realm of his filmography, Mastroianni played the son of Annibale Ninchai twice, notably in the iconic films La Dolce Vita and Eight. These collaborations highlighted his ability to bring depth to familial relationships on the silver screen. 
Beyond the spotlight, Mastroy and his personal life and the enduring recognition of his cinematic achievements reveal a multifaceted individual whose influence transcends generations. Marcello Mastroianni's journey, marked by family, farewell, and on-screen dynamics, weaves a narrative that extends far beyond the frames of his movies. His impact on the industry, coupled with the personal intricacies of his life, continues to resonate a testament to a legacy that spans both personal and professional realms. Commander of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic, Grand Officer of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic, and Knight of Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic, Marcello Mastroianni's illustrious career extended beyond the silver screen. Honored for his contributions to Italian culture, these distinctions underscored his impact. However, Mastroianni's life off-screen was marked by intense relationships, including a notable period with French actress Catherine Deneuve from 1970 to 1974. Deneuve, present at his bedside when he passed away, shared not just a romantic connection but also a daughter, Chiara Mastroianni. This intertwining of personal and professional aspects provides a compelling lens through which to explore the complex legacy of a man celebrated not only in cinema, but also in the honors bestowed upon him by his homeland. Marcello Mastroianni, an iconic figure in Italian cinema, left an indelible mark on the industry. Beyond his celebrated film career, Mastroianni's personal life and posthumous arrangements shed light on the complexity of the man behind the screen. In death, Mastroianni found his final resting place in the Cimitero Monumentale del Verano in Rome, Italy. This choice of burial grounds reflects his lasting connection to the Italian cultural landscape. The cinematic maestro, recognized with prestigious honors such as the Commander of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic, now rests in a locale befitting his contributions. Interestingly, Mastroianni's will outline a unique provision. All his personality rights were bequeathed to Anna Maria Tad, underscoring the deliberate decisions he made regarding his legacy. This legal disposition adds a layer of intrigue to the posthumous considerations of a man who meticulously planned the fate of his image and identity. While Mastroianni's professional achievements continue to resonate, his romantic entanglements also form part of his narrative. The actor had notable relationships with Anne Alcain, Lauren Hutton, Carol Mallory, and Ursula Andress. These connections, though private, provide a glimpse into the broader tapestry of Mastroianni's life, showcasing the man behind the roles. Marcello Mastroianni's story extends beyond the screen, delving into the choices he made for his legacy, the relationships that defined him, and the final resting place that honors his memory. In exploring these facets, we gain a more comprehensive understanding of the man who etched his name into the annals of cinema history. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the life and work of the legendary Marcello Mastroianni, let's take a moment to let the echoes of his performances resonate within us. His artistry, like a finely crafted tapestry, has woven its way into the fabric of our cultural consciousness. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Reflect on the celluloid moments that left an indelible mark on your soul. Was it the suave charm of Guido Anselmi in Eight or the poignant vulnerability of Marcello Rubini in La Dolce Vita? Perhaps it was the way he effortlessly danced between drama and comedy, leaving you both contemplative and amused. Share your treasured memories, your personal script of connection with Marcello Mastroianni. Let the dialogue of his performances spark conversations and unveil the nuances of your own cinematic journey. Invite others to join in, creating a collective celebration of this cinematic luminary. As we delve into this shared narrative, let's acknowledge the enduring impact of Marcello Mastroianni on the world of entertainment. His legacy, like a timeless script, continues to unfold on screens across generations. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us, for sharing your reflections, and for being part of the everlasting story that is Marcello Mastroianni's cinematic legacy. Appreciatively, 